There's been quite a bit of discussion on what the status of this mythic Nintendo Switch Pro is, and it seems like the console is still aiming for a 2021 launch according to Known Insider. We'll talk about that, and it's definitely news people want to know about, because even though I think the majority of you guys have a Nintendo Switch and they're readily available, the idea of an upgraded platform is very exciting because if you can throw any slight at the Nintendo Switch, I guess it would be from a power standpoint, but a Switch Pro could remedy some of the those issues. As spotted by WCCF Tech, Nate Drake, a known industry insider thought to be a reliable source of information, claims to have an update on Nintendo's plans to release the Nintendo Switch Pro. Speaking on a reset era forum, they say that the console will use Nvidia's DLSS tech and has 4K functionality. Saying, quote, won't really talk more about the tech specs that I have. It has DLSS and it has 4K functionality. No reason to go deeper than that right now. That's enough to illustrate the device is a meaningful upgrade. First party support will span the new hardware and current switch for at least a couple of years speaking a little bit more about it quote let's say i'm confident it gets announced this year a delay to 2022 would need to be communicated in the next few months as dev kits and third-party partners begin to plan software for the device as of this very moment february 18th of 2021 i believe the hope remains for a 2021 launch so it seems like the Nintendo Switch Pro, if nothing else, is a real thing, and it seems like all of the evidence and the reports suggesting that this is coming, at some point I imagine it is coming, whether it be 2021 or 2022, looks like internally it still probably is scheduled for 2021. We'll see how that ultimately turns out, but I think the Nintendo Switch Pro, okay, we talked about, you know, the Switch is going out of stock, PlayStation 5 is being really hard to get, Xbox Series X is anything. If you're going to put your foot off the gas and think that the Nintendo Switch Pro isn't going to be something that people buy up a lot and then resell on eBay like right after, especially if this comes out in the holiday season, even if it comes out in the spring or something like that, I think you're absolutely crazy. Let this be a moment where we reiterate and tell, uh, and tell ourselves that this is going to be a console that if it does come to fruition, if it's like let's say $300, $350, $400, it is going to be bought up by scalpers, it is going to be put on eBay, and it is going to be resold at marked up prices. That's why I implore you, we're talking about it even before the Switch Pro even gets revealed. If you have any interest in this console, plan on keeping tabs on when pre-orders are going to open up and things of that nature because you'll want to get your pre-order in early and we're seeing things with like the Monster Hunter Rise Nintendo Switch. Like that's Monster Hunter Rise with a custom Nintendo Switch and the digital deluxe edition of the game and that went from $370 reselling on eBay for $550. I don't want you guys to be in that position and I know if a Switch Pro is a reality, especially... Imagine if they bundle it with Breath of the Wild 2 or something like that, and that's like a big holiday thing, or if that's a big early 2021 thing, that is going to sell, like insanely well just absolutely bonkers is going to be the sales numbers of that but let's see everything play out that's just me pushing the cart before the horse a little bit definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below the switch pro is something that we've been talking about for quite a while and hopefully sooner rather than later it does come to fruition with an official announcement obviously with a little global pandemic things are going to be slowed down a little bit but let's see it come together hopefully in the very near future that's going to wrap up this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know uh, let me know are you guys gonna buy a switch pro if it happens would you just stick with your current nintendo switch even if it means that the performance would be a little bit worse comparatively speaking to the switch pro sound off in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye